it has been a long time since I have uploaded a video, so sorry about that. I've been really busy with work and stuff, but I wanted to make a short video today on how my M1 MacBook Pro has been doing for the past, I think I've owned it for about three or four months now, um, and I just want to kind of give an update um, on it. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I'm not a professional um, videographer. Um, I do this as a hobby, um, so I'm kind of doing this vlog style, so don't expect the fancy um, B-roll cuts and stuff like that, but I'll do my best to edit this together and let you know how my M1 MacBook Pro has been performing um, the past four months. So let's get started. So if you haven't known already, um, if you haven't checked out my previous videos on this, this is the 13 inch with eight gigabytes of RAM in the small hard drive, 256 gigabyte SSD. Um, and to give you the TLDR of my experience with this, just get straight to the point, um, it's been awesome. I haven't had any issues with it. Um, the, the battery life is absolutely insane and overall I just really really enjoy this uh, PC or Mac whatever you want to call it um, <laughs> I'm actually a PC user I have a custom built um, PC that I usually use for gaming and, and streaming sometimes um, it, I mean this this one has the um, 3700x 3060 Ti 16 gigs of RAM and you know, in terms of like video editing and stuff, I have way better experience with this Mac than I do on my gaming PC. I mean, I, I love using this. Um, it's, you know, I've gotten a lot of flack on my other videos for, you know, comparing these two, because um, apparently the free version of DaVinci Resolve doesn't use GPU acceleration, but like, nonetheless, I mean, you gotta give credit where it's due. This is pushing out 15 watts of power and can churn out 4K 60 videos with not a problem without even turning on the fan you know even you know this computer here I'm kind of going back to my video comparing the these two anyway so you guys should just go check it out to see it for yourself but like it's just impressive overall this thing heats up like crazy when doing video editing and this thing just doesn't break a sweat and it's so nice to um, put videos together on the fly without having this giant thing and you know being restricted to this so overall, like I said, my experience has been good. I love this keyboard. Um, I didn't, I didn't think it has, it doesn't have very much travel. Um, so the, I thought it would be kind of an issue at first with you know, with typing on it. But overall, like it, it, over long periods of time, um, it's certainly very very comfortable to type on. And you know, I've actually measured my words per minute compared to, uh, you know, my gaming keyboard. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a little dirty. Uh, my gaming keyboard mechanical thing here and I'm actually 10 words per minute faster on this keyboard than any other my, of my keyboards because I got this one and then I got this HyperX that you can't see because the lighting is terrible but um, yeah I mean I love the keyboard I love this trackpad this giant trackpad uh, I've had a bunch of Windows laptops in the past and I've struggled um, with having trackpad space and this is a huge feature I will never be able to live to live without. Um, you know, if if I ever replace this, uh, which it'll be a while before I actually do, uh, I definitely want a laptop with a huge trackpad because, you know, video editing and, and things like that, scrubbing, and um, you know, even even like moving pictures and documents around on, on the desktop, you can like click and drag it without having to like lift up your finger, and you know with a smaller trackpad I mean you have to do that and it's, it just gets annoying and you end up losing your uh, your spot and it's just it's a pain in the rear. Now the next thing I kind of want to go over is the battery life on this like I said before um, the battery life has been absolutely insane I mean I'm frequently on this um, you know just you know paying bills and uh, responding to messages FaceTime uh, normally and watching YouTube web browsing uh, I don't do too much video editing on this because like I said I've been busy um, but I literally charge this maybe once every two weeks it is insane I, I get easily 18 plus hours battery life out of it I mean it is incredible um, you know I I don't know how they do it I, I really don't like it, it is so impressive to me to, to see um, how this how this thing just sips on power and still is able to perform um, pretty pretty nice. Now, you know, like I said, I'm a PC user. Um, this is my first Mac uh, computer, and the learning curve is literally non-existent. At least at least for me, um, I, I'm pretty tech savvy though overall. Um, but it 
I, I could just hop right into this thing and know where everything's at. Um, you know, I do have an iPhone. That's actually what I'm recording on right now. And so kind of like everything syncs, you know, like my messages and my FaceTime calls, um, you know, my Safari, it's just, it syncs all together. My photos are all there. Um, you know, it, they, a lot of people um, talk about the Apple ecosystem and it is, it is really nice. Like I've had an iPhone for, this will be three years now. And you know, I've made fun of people for owning Macs uh, in the past. And <laughs> you know you, you really got to try it you, you really do um, they are they definitely have a different use case you know I see a lot of people you know PC and Mac is better or PC is better than Mac and you know what in some cases yes you know this PC you know literally blows this thing away in gaming I mean it, it, no no questions about but like this this has a different use case and no PC that at least that I know of um, can come close to the performance, uh, no PC laptop rather, uh, can come close to the performance that this thing turns out and still, um, you know, has that ecosystem, has that battery life, has that value. That's another thing that I've noticed about Apple products is they tend to hold their value and a lot of people sell these um, like on eBay, on Facebook Marketplace and, and different areas um, for a good amount of money. Whereas, you know, Windows laptops in a year or two, they're worth like 20 bucks or they're in their scrapyard. Um, you know, they, but they definitely have to have their use case. And, um, you know, in, in my use case with, you know, paying bills, watching videos and doing some hobby light video editing on the side, you know, for instance, to edit this video together, this is the perfect laptop. And it's so much nicer, like I said, to edit something on this rather than being confined um, to my uh, custom built PC and having to sit here. I can literally go to a coffee shop. I can go to a friend's house. You know, I can be in Michigan on a trip or something and be able to uh, edit the videos on the fly. I hope you guys got the idea that I have enjoyed owning this Mac uh, for the past four months. Um, like I said, I haven't had any problems with it. Um, my f Honestly, my favorite feature is the raise to wake. Um, it is just so nice. Like it is just instant. Like, look at that. That is crazy. You know, off, on, like that's nuts. So I've never had a Windows laptop that was able to do that. Um, so that's like my favorite feature. I do like the touch bar. I'd rather have function keys. Um, it can be a little bit confusing at times to, to figure out, I guess like not figure out, but to, um, I don't know. It's just, I'd rather have function keys. I prefer the hard keys. I mean, I can, I've seen rumors that this is gonna go um, next uh, Mac refresh. And you know, honestly, I would be fine with that. Um, oh, and one more thing that I don't, don't, that I don't wanna forget before I go, the speakers. This has the best laptop speakers I've ever heard on a laptop, ever. It is, you don't need headphones uh, to like edit these videos, to listen to music. Um, it, anything it, like, it's just incredible how much clarity is through the speakers it has you know they're not tinny they're not raspy they're pretty well balanced for um, these little tiny um, speakers you'll have to see one for yourself so I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, M1 that brief M1 MacBook Pro review um, I certainly have loved it a couple questions I actually didn't address that I now am thinking of this filming uh, the end of this video is how is the storage and how is the RAM uh, affecting your performance? And honestly, I haven't had issues at all with the storage space and RAM. Um, I mean, it's, I edit one video at a time, so I don't keep my videos on there. You know, I transfer them off of the hard drive at the end of the project and put them on a, uh, like a NAS. Um, so it, it doesn't matter to me uh, that it's only 256 gigabytes. I, only, I record in 1080p 60 anyways, so the file size doesn't really matter to me. And the RAM, even when I'm in DaVinci Resolve, I don't find that it is a bottleneck at all. Um, everything works just fine. There's no lag, nothing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a little bit long-winded. Like I said, I'm not a professional um, YouTuber or whatever. I don't have the fancy stuff. I just wanted to give you a direct, clear, concise answer without pushing any sponsor crap or um, any other stuff on you. I'm going to try to be posting some more videos up. I should have more time now. Um, I got a couple new things that I'd like to show you guys, um, car related. Um, so stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So, and take care.